Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to start a new crop in the kitchen countertop garden. Hey guys, welcome back. Glad you could join me today. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric. This is the kitchen countertop garden I've created. Uh, you can find it all on Hackaday. If you haven't seen the video before, I'll post a link down below. As well as in the description, I'll post a link to the Hackaday post where you can find out how I built this and how you can build one of your own. We're going to start a new crop in the garden today. You just need a few basic essentials and I'll show you guys how it's done. Not much to this, guys. My favorite place for project stuff. Slide out to the dollar store because I needed a new container because I ended up, uh, well, I, re I actually repurposed the last ones I had. So these are some of the container styles you can use. Uh, I used to prefer a full depth tray that fits in the back of the garden the whole span. Now I'm starting to break them off into modular because I'm finding it's a lot nicer if you want to change the, the crop or trim things. You can trim some but not disturb all of them. It's pretty handy. So I prefer the miracle Grow potting mix only because I've had success in the past and my local Canadian tire stocks this year round so I like using it. Beyond that we just need some seeds and our containers. Um, these other ones would work too but they don't have quite the area. Uh, I do recommend not using clear containers. Uh, it's a little better for to not have light get to the soil but it's not a deal breaker at all so we're gonna go ahead and do these ones up uh, just because they're dirt cheap. Why not? Some seeds, you can buy these at the dollar store too. Uh, well, a quick look. So some of the seeds that I use most often, these are McKenzie uh, Winter Blend Salad Mix, pretty cool. Uh, I haven't tried this one yet, a mescaline, a mescaline mix. These are uh, a giant red mustard. We're not going to use these here. These are too slow to grow. I grow these outside and I don't think they're going to work in here, but I might, I might throw one or two seeds in just to see. And uh, good old spinach, awesome sour green, works great. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to make a bit of a mess here, but that's okay. So we just go ahead and take, this has got to be potting mix, guys. Don't use topsoil or anything like that. you got to use a good quality potting mix, or you can use any other media that you like growing with. If you're into hydroponic stuff and stuff uh, like that, it'll work fine in here. We want a good, healthy dollop of soil in both of these. What we want, we want to basically fill these up. Uh, it is going to settle a little bit. There. I think that's about where we want to be. We're not going to pack this at all right now. We want it pretty full but not totally because what we're going to do is we're going to cover the seeds after. We're not going to bury them. So we go ahead and take our seeds and what we're going to do is contrary to uh, any of the instructions on these, we are going to seed the heck out of this. Um, overseeding is okay in this case because uh, we can we can prune things out. What we don't want is, well you can plant more later too, it's not a big deal. But we want lots of plants growing in here. So that's probably enough spinach. And stuff uh, goes like crazy. What I really love is this winter blend salad leaves. This stuff we can go hog wild with. Uh, a little bit does go a long way with these though, guys. Really small seeds. Just go ahead and sprinkle them in. Like I said, it's uh, way overseeding here, but that's okay. I want to get a few around the edges if possible. So that's an area that often I miss and I regret it after. And that is about it. Just pat that down just a wee bit on each of them. Make sure the seeds are, are somewhat settled in, but nothing too crazy. You don't want to mash this down. And then we'll go ahead and add some more soil on top. And you should be about level with the top. We can add a little bit more once we water it in if it uh, compresses too much. We don't need a ton of soil here, guys, because what you what you do is you add a little bit of your favorite uh, fertilizer or uh, grow liquid to your watering. But uh, yeah, that's 
that's it. We're going to go ahead and water these in and we're going to put them into the garden. That's what they look like watered in. You can already see it's settling quite a bit. Uh, I didn't really soak things. Let it settle. Let the, let the water settle in and then uh, get an idea of your moisture level and then you can add more. You can't take it away real easy and we don't want to waterlog the heck out of them right away. And that is about it. We're going to set these into the grow chamber, into the garden. I need to get my other rack back from the basement. I'm going to close it up. And that is all. In a few days, a few weeks, we're going to have tons of greens in here and we're going to have some fresh salad and some good stuff. Cheers guys. Thanks for following this project. If you like this video, please consider a thumbs up below. It really helps the channel. Check out the project over on Hackaday. Best of luck in all your electronics ventures.